So today I'm going to talk to you about how to make this seesaw that you're seeing on your screen. There's just a few parts. So you're going to have to make the base piece, so this piece, and then the axle, and then your lever. What we're going to really focus on here, though, is how to put the whole thing together. So let me start a brand new assembly, and we'll start placing some components. Here they are. I'm going to say base, place it in there. I'll go ahead and place the axle and the lever as well. All right, so there we go. First thing I'll start with is I'll say constrain, and I'm going to go to insert. Inserts this one right here. I'm going to click that and click here. Now, if it goes the wrong way, I can use these different solutions so I can flip it over and around. I'm going to rotate this around real quick just to make sure it went OK, and it did. And I'll click apply. So that's in. And I'm going to use one more insert. I'm going to put the axle in there. And this is what I was talking about with the solution. So this one's not so good, but if I click right here, it'll work just fine. If neither one of those solutions work, then I'm going to have to start using my offsets here. Okay, I'll apply it. Now the directions, though, for this particular assembly tell us that the lever here should be at a 20 degree angle. So let's deal with that. So we'll go to constraint. Here's angle. Here's direct. That's what we tend to use. And we'll click the lever. And maybe like the top here of the of the base or even this right here we could do as well. All right. So I'm click top. Right now it's set at zero. I just put a 20 in there. And there we go. And click apply and exit that. And I've got it. Now, if I try to move, if I try to move this lever right now, it's locked in there at an angle, right? So it won't move. But if I go over here and either expand the base or the lever, you see this angle constraint, how it's set at 20. There's a couple options. I could right click and edit that. And by the way, it wouldn't matter if I edit it here or here, but I can edit and I can stay instead of 20. Maybe I make it a different one. If I want just freedom, if I just want it to move, I can right click on it and say suppress. That temporarily takes it off. Now it won't rotate because nothing is grounded yet. So I need to take the base and I need to ground it, right? Grounded. So now we can rotate and it obviously it goes through. Okay. When I want that angle constraint back, I'll right click on it and unsuppress it. And there it is.